All right, we're doing this. Time for some doom, everybody. Bring it old school, and by old school, I of course mean 2016. But a 2016 game based on a much older game, though. That's what I'm talking about. Hello, Dante. Welcome, welcome. You're the first tonight. I know I wanted to stream again. It's been a while since I beat uh, Shadow of War, and I figured something fun and less plot-driven like this so I can actually integrate with the chat more. It did have a really good soundtrack. Doom's always had good music. They are rage. Brutal. Brutal. Without mercy. But you Rip and tear until it's must. done. Already right off the bat, they're letting you know what type of game this is that they've worked in rip and tear. That's, that's what we're doing. Okay, so this is a bad Friday night. Just waking up, change to some sort of horrible altar. Some terrible death beasts around me, not knowing how I got here. I, I think this game has to break some sort of record for the lack of time it takes before you're shooting something. Like, this might be the quickest from just action to shoot stuff. Like, I know there's a word for that in films uh, when it doesn't take that long to get to the action. Like, uh, Indiana Jones and James Bond would do that, where it's like, yeah, 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 we'll get to the storytelling later, but first we gotta get you in here. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all my blood. Yeesh, no. Hey, what happened here, holograms? Can you tell me? Alright, so there was some big, creepy altar I'm gathering. Some people praying to the creepy altar. And shit went bad. Shit went real, real bad. Oh, hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, but first, pew pew with the demons. Oh, would you look at that. Master Chief ain't got shit on Doom Guy. Mm. Now we're in a heavy metal album cover. Okay, I see the devil, I see fire, I see destruction, I see lots of things. Ah yes, the Doom Guy. Or the Doom Marine. I know people have called him both, both the Doom Marine and the Doom Guy. I personally like Doom Guy. Like Guy's his last name, like it's a fancy French name, Guy. Doom Guy. Uh-huh. Hair is unavailable. God, I hate troubleshooting. I like real shooting. So, everything's fucked up on Mars again, so what else is new? Classic Doom is classic. Okay. It's not just demons. It's demons on another planet. None of them wussy Earth demons. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. Just to do your throat lozenge, Dr. Samuel Hayden. And resolve this problem in a way that benefits you sound super evil, Samuel Hayden. Again, I've never played this game before. I don't know the story, but if I had to guess, Samuel Hayden's probably the bad guy, or at least not a good guy. Good, good guys don't sound like this. Also, did you know Satan's name when he was an angel before he fell to hell? His name was Samael. And your name is Samuel Hayden? Oh shit. Oh yes, the glory kills. Not gory kills, glory kills. As in glory be. This looks fucking dope. Oh god, that feels so satisfying. This is Bethista who does this, who also did the Wolfensteins, and they do the same things with their crazy kills. Hello, me Joe. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Doom. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, yes. We're not, we haven't even been playing five minutes yet, and they've already put a shotgun in my hand. This is my sort of game, most definitely. Uh, not like Kratos. He opens doors, no problem. Oh, these guys. No joke, the original Doom, my dad had it on his computer. And I would play it even though I knew I wasn't supposed to, because I was, like, really young. And those imps, those big scary pig imp guys, always scared the crap out of me. So it feels good all these years later to, to come back and get my revenge. In a way. Oh, look at this. This game is so old school, it's got actual pickups. 
for everything. Actual pickups, no reloading, no run button. You run it like a regular speed. And there's a double jump. It's like this game looked at everything Call of Duty was doing and was like, nah, we can do better. And your head comes off. God, look, look how hard I'm hitting them with my big meaty, meaty fisticles. Peter Travis would make a hell of a Doom movie, Dante Turtle, I agree. And I didn't even hate the first Doom movie. The one with The Rock, I actually didn't hate that one. I actually thought it was kind of okay. I mean, it was dumb as hell, but I mean, you know, demons in space. It did probably as good with that concept as you could. And also, there's that whole moment in that movie where it goes first person. So, you know, you can get the feeling that they at least played the games. Where'd you go, jerk? Aha. God, that's satisfying when you just turn them into a fine, a fine red paste. Oh, and red barrels still blow up. Ugh, I'm running out of the ammos. And so much verticality to these levels, too. That was another thing that's seemingly lost in modern day FPSs. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. <laughs> unsafe levels? You mean there's a safe level of demonic possession I was not aware of? Only here would there be a safe level of demonic possession. Also, the pistol has infinite ammo, and you can charge it up, which is kind of cool. Although, you run slower when you're charging. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Lockdown. Gonna want to keep my ammo, but the shotgun is so cool, Jaime Joe. That's right, the new one does have health pickups, the new Call of Duty. You're right, they went back to that, I forgot. It's not just that they went back to World War II, they went back to health pickups, too. What, what, what do you got? What do you got, not Cortana? He would ruin everything. Uh... -huh. Can't talk, bored now. Haven't shot anything for two seconds. I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours. Hey, Samuel, anyone tell you you sound like Optimus Prime? In their world was is that Optimus Prime, or is that the uh, epic voice guy from Honest Trailers? He sounds incredibly familiar. H help me out, Chad. Is he anybody? Hello, Trappy. Welcome, welcome. Boom. Wow, what a talk about a late title card, an eight minute late title card, but I can dig it. And an awesome remix of the original Doom theme. Da 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 da. Are you hyped yet? Da 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 cause you will be. And right after that boom, you're on the hellish scape of the moon. It's like the game was almost playing with you, being like, Hey, remember how much people hated Doom 3 because it was just you walking down bland science hallways? Well, guess what? We start you out in a bland science hallway for the first eight minutes, and then boom! Welcome to Mars! Get your ass to Mars, literally. Oh, was I supposed to pick that up? Oh, yes, lots of codex things. If you actually care about the story, you can read about it. Is it? Is it? Hi, me, Joe. God, I haven't played Overwatch in forever. I know some people are right the hell into it. I played Roadhog. Hey, 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 you. Oh, that guy took two. I guess I just glanced him. Oh, we got some new guys now. <clears throat> it's the mist part. It's actually turning them into red mist that feels the best. Oh, hey, got some armor. Mmm, <clears throat> so satisfying. Never, never not satisfying.
Oh god. This is like Punisher Finale's level of violence. Oh, he was also in Shadows of War. I felt like every actor in L.A. was in Shadows of War doing one of the million orcs. Now, I'll have to pay attention to these levels, too, because apparently, much like in Old Doom, there's, like, actual secrets that you can find. Which is another thing first-person shooters kind of forgot about at a point. Damn you imps. Mm, I'ma get you, I'ma get you. Yeah, got you. Oh, I thought I could do two at once. Okay, collectibles in every four stages. I will try and keep my eyes open for those then. I can hear growling, everyone's not dead yet. Which is a problem. Are they dead? Are they all dead yet? Sorry, what was that high me, Joe? That's a big long question and I'm killing guys. I'm trying to read it. Uh, you think shout out the homeless man the son. I tired. Joss Weeding writing creds. Yeah, yeah, hi me, Joe. I tried. <laughs> Is that just Joss Whedon talking about Justice League as a whole? Did he put that in as his credit? Oh man, feels like it. I'm tired. <laughs> Honestly, that whole opening uh, thing for Justice League is so weird in retrospect because it's like, yeah, man, the world, it's off its axis now because Superman is dead, Hope is dead and everything. And I'm like, well, there's no real Superman and the world is actually like this right now, so bully for us, huh? That, uh, that opening also made me laugh, too, because, well, it, it was set to a cover of a Leonard Cohen song because apparently uh, if it's not... Uh, Whatchamacallit. Oh, wow, they have key cards in this game. Holy shit, that is wonderfully retro. Uh, ap apparently, if it's not a White Stripe song, they can't do anything that's not a cover. But we also see, like, a guy who is clearly a skinhead getting arrested by cops for, like, you know, uh, messing with a bunch of Middle Eastern people. And I'm like, man, this truly is a superhero fiction, isn't it? If this was real life, the cops would stand by and do nothing. Yeah, exactly. The fruit cart scene. Yeah, Jaime Joe, you know what I'm talking about. Wow, Doom in 2016, back to having key cards. Man, this takes me back. Remember when keys were a big thing in video games? And we're off. Ooh, grenades. Nice. Hey, 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 guys. Oh, that was a slightly disappointing explosion. Uh, super excited for a trappy was bound to happen will lead to a bunch of new industries. In fact, I was supposed to go to Vancouver out in uh, February, and their dispensaries are super high tech. Then again, I also know a lot of people who are going to be super pissed about it because they were farmers. <laughs> We did get something close to real Superman, Dante. The only problem is is that there's no... They don't give an explanation as to why his personality suddenly just changed. And it's not even like, oh, you know, I, I died, but, you know, coming back gave me a new lease on life. Because they don't say that. And the same goes for Batman. He's suddenly happy out of nowhere. I do actually trap it. Yes, yes, they have. And I know they're not happy about it, the new law, because they feel they're going to get put out of business. But then again, they're also thinking it's probably going to be like a prohibition thing as well. Where it's like if they just uh, can sell cheaper, they'll, uh, they'll undercut the government. What's funny, though, is because I'm from Ontario, uh, they're passing even weirder laws to where, like, uh, the early word is there's not going to be dispensaries here. They're going to want to run it through the LCBO. That's the Ontario Liquor Control Board. Yeah, we, we don't have liquor stores here in Ontario. 
like uh, like you would in the United States. You just can't buy booze anywhere. You got to actually go to a special store here in Ontario if you want booze. When Sal was here, actually, uh, in Canada, I got to point one out to him, and I'm like, yeah, hey, see that? That's uh, that's an Ontario Liquor Control Board place. That's where you got to go if you want to buy booze. Yeah, I know, right? Where do you buy papers, Trappy? Ah, you can buy that stuff most places. There's a, there's actually a convenience store right by me that sells, uh, what is it, grinders and papers and all sorts of glassware. I've always wondered what the legality of that is. I mean, they don't get shot, shut down, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> oh, man, we so should have done that, Trappy. We should have hung out outside the liquor control board like Jay and Silent Bob. Oh, man. It get you down. God, why, why would you not just do the glory kill every time? It feels so great. It feels glorious. Uh, where are we off to now? Oh, yeah, there's a, oh, there's a map above me telling me where I gotta go. Can I double jump up here? I cannot double jump up there. Yeah, I know, right, Trappy? For a, being a convenience store the way we do things in Ontario isn't very convenient. That is convenient for the government. Oh, really, Hi, me Joe? Several different killing animation? That's awesome. Ooh, what do we got here? Ah ha ha! Combat support drone, let me get my weapon mod on. Yes, please. Yes, please, I would like to modify my shotgun. Hey, you don't gotta be mean to the drone, it's not the drone's fault. Uh, do I go there? Do I keep going this way? God, these levels are so sprawling. I can't remember the last time a game gave me this many options and places to go. Oh, that feels satisfying. Oh, that feels so satisfying. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, Trappy. Good purchase. Yeah, this uh, this was my Black Friday uh, purchase. I got this for like 26, 25 bucks, and I'd been meaning to play it anyway because I figured it would be good uh, content for here because I can actually read the comments on the screen and play and not be too distracted like I was with Lord of the Rings. Wanted to get that new Steven Universe game too, but they are charging a surprising lot for a game that was supposed to be, uh, what is it, a sequel to a digital game, I was surprised. Very surprised. Yeah, Fallout 4, I actually, I think playing the Fallout 4 DLC for stream was actually one of the more popular things I ever streamed. I think I got more viewership in that just because I picked the right date for it. This game surprisingly took up a lot of room on, a. Uh on my hardware for the PlayStation 4, I was surprised how much room it actually took up. I had to delete and move a bunch of stuff to my cloud saves. Hopefully I won't have to do that much longer with uh, Christmas coming up. One of the things I put uh, on my Amazon wish list, which is basically just my Christmas list for everyone uh, involved, I uh, put one of those new little hard drives that you can format to give you uh, way more space on the PlayStation. That's what I'm looking forward for. And a bunch of Bullet Club merch. It's basically just that and a lot of Bullet Club apparel. Joel loves him some Bullet Club. And hey, if you want to help yourself off to anything uh, from my Amazon wish list and help to support the channel while you're at it, I have an Amazon gear thing down in the description of this video you're watching right here, right now. So get yourself something nice with the holidays coming out. Pick up anything for yourself, for friends, for family through my Amazon link. It's much appreciated, and if you're buying comics, I, of course, have a book depository, too. Haha! -ha. Good question, Trappy. Do they sell tracksuits? I'm glad you asked that. They sold about a hundred tracksuits one time and never again, and I got one. I have a super limited edition tracksuit that I'm very happy about. They also made bomber jackets that I didn't get. They only made about a hundred of them, and I didn't get the bomber jacket, and I was very disappointed that I didn't get the bomber jacket. 
Luckily, they do sell patches, though, and I bought a bunch of patches off them, and I'm gonna make my own, basically. God, those guys take a loss. Oh, hey, what's the matter, buddy? Don't worry, I got you. I would have a limited edition tracksuit. I would, Trappy, you're right. I love tracksuits so much, I have limited edition ones that you can't get anywhere else. Oh, good, Jaime Joe. Thank you. That's really good. Also, hey, uh, if it's tea public stuff you like, they're also having a big Black Friday sale right now, and I put up a new uh, comic multiverse design that uh, Matt made. They're only like 14 bucks right now, and Matt worked hard on some new designs, so I was sure to put those up. We admittedly don't get much for Tee Public, but hey, you know, if you like to feel part of the comic multiverse and you want to get your merch on, that's one way you can do it. I, uh, I actually haven't crunched those numbers, but I probably should. What's, uh, what's the most bang for your buck when it comes to supporting me on stuff? Because I have the book depository, I have the Amazon gear right here, I have Gawkbox, which I don't know if anyone's tried that yet, but apparently it lets you tip me for free on Twitch, uh, if only you view it through, like, a mobile app or something. I don't know if they, like, make you watch, like, a video, or make you download something, but apparently you can, uh, tip for free. So that's something to look into. Uh, yeah, Patreon, you're right, Jaime Joe, is probably the best way you can support me. Just throw me a couple bucks every month. Which, thank you for that. It's the Patreon money that I actually pay Matt out of for all the hard work he does. So when you give that, you're helping me, uh, pay a friend and keep, uh, keep him working, which is always nice. But hey, you know, that's what you gotta do in this YouTube game. You gotta have, uh, multiple, uh, avenues all sewn up. Oh my god, that's brutal. That's so brutal. That season finale of The Punisher brutal, which I saw tonight. I actually watched all the episodes. Exactly, you gotta, you gotta feed Matt. <laughs> That's, that's what I should just rename it to. Feed Matt, and occasionally me too. Mm. That'd be nice, Trappy. Actually, Matt and I were shooting around something funny there where, uh, what is it, the, the, the topic of uh, Scotland and England and Europe came up, and we both said that we had a family in Ireland and in that part of the world, but how we've never visited. And uh, I said, oh, you know, that should be that should be the thing. That should be the comic multiverse European vacation or European tour in 2018 when we're feeling good enough about it. We should, uh, what is it? We should try and get together like a Kickstarter for it. Half jokingly, but half kind of like, yeah, maybe. Hello, KT. You didn't miss much. I think I'm just about to wrap up the first level by the looks of it. Comic Multiverse Live, Joe, we're working up to that at some point. I, uh, I'm trying to learn to work OBS. But once I get it working, we'll definitely try and make something like that happen. One, one baby step at a time. Alright, level two. Man, you can speed right through this, can't you? I say, but I'm fighting just the most basic enemies with the most basic weapons right now. I'm sure in the next little bit, it's shit's gonna get real. Maybe it should be Jaime Joe, the 200th episode, Comic Multiverse in Scotland. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be a nice one. Heck, I kind of, I was looking at, like, the restaurants and, like, tours you can do. I kind of want to go to New Zealand. Apparently they have these crazy, like, uh, what is it, Lord of the Rings-inspired trips you can take where you actually get to, like, eat dinner in a hobbit hole and you get to visit stuff from the movie. That's pretty sick. Also, the Harry Potter land at Universal Studios. I've never been, but apparently it's only gotten better and better, from what I understand. You can get your butterbeer, there's Ollivander, there's all the wizard candies. I'm about it. Know your enemy, like you know yourself. Good advice. Every hundred episodes should be in another country. If I could afford it, Dante, I would. Hello, I am Vega. The oh, what's up, Vega? Assigned to Mars. 
Are you an intelligence? I thought you were a uh, street fighter. It appears that I can activate optional challenges that when completed will assist in upgrading your arsenal at an accelerated pace. <laughs> Is that high me, Joe? If so, I would happily eat there too just to say I did. Heck, I'm pretty sure if I do that, I get a new jacket patch if I can scratch that one off the old bucket list. Entrances, not oh, well, this isn't creepy as hell. I'm just gonna throw some grenades in here, just to be safe. Hey. Hey, hey demons, come through here. Come walking. I'll just stand here by the door. Anyone who wants to die, please just show yourself over here. Nice. Well, I guess that elevator taint going nowhere right now. See, now I'm having Doom 3 flashbacks. Dead. So dead. Yeah, just, just hitting everything with the butt of my gun until stuff happens. Oh, there we go. That's the thing I was supposed to hit. Ah, open the windows into beautiful scenic Mars. I believe in honesty. Especially now. Oh, this looks important. In what will be your final moments in this world? Uh-huh. All the rumors. The human sacrifices. Ooh, no. The demons. No, 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 this is important. I'm going to listen to this. My sisters and brothers, be thankful. You will be the hey, first. Hey, anyone ever tell you you, you look like that hot shit from Mass Effect, but, you know, just much older? What will become the new world are those are those tattoos, or is that just a weird bodysuit you're wearing? Ah, uh, thank you for coming out, Dante. Night, night. Well, so, for those following the story, uh, some bad shit happened on Mars... There may have been a demon worshipping cult involved, because isn't that always the case? And also, the company we're part of might be evil, too. Because aren't they always? She's a robot. <laughs> she does look like a robot. Hey, I know you. You're one of them robots. I'm hearing a lot of snarling. Oh. Wow, I'm so tough and so manly I can make barrels explode just by punching them. Time to go down the hole. Open the hatch. That's a nice sound effect, hearing horrible demonic moaning no matter where you are. You, you guys are mooks. I won't waste shotgun ammo on you. <laughs> yeah, if you're on Mars, you're right, KT. Just call John Carter. He'll help you out. Uh, he can't save your movie franchise, though, but he'll, he'll help you out. She's still carrying on out there with all of her demonic hibba She's still hailing Satan. Or whatever Mars space equivalent of Satan is to be warships. John Carter was okay, you know. Oh, wow. I turned that guy into jelly. Holy shit. You can still see his brain matter on the wall. That's fucking tits. That's great. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, John Carter. John Carter wasn't bad, but it wasn't the next uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, which they clearly wanted it to be. It also had that problem that it can't... Oh, yep, that guy's exploding. Yep, they got suicide bombers now. I was going to say, one of the big problems with John Carter is that by the time they made the movie, the property was literally 100 years old. 
Like, not even jokingly a hundred years old, like, it was a hundred years old. And they clearly wanted it to be something it wasn't. It's also one of those properties where it's like, oh, everyone had been stealing off John Carter's plate for so long that by the time they actually made the movie, no one cared. I mean, come on, everyone from Superman to Super Mario took some inspiration and stole off John Carter's plate a little bit. Oh, no! That is some harsh dentistry. Ooh, nice. What I, what I get, what I get. Ooh, I can upgrade my arsenal. Yes, I would like to upgrade my charge shot, please. Oh, I can't upgrade my next one until I got three points. Ooh, but I can upgrade my suit a little bit. Uh, equip system. Okay, I need two for that. Uh, I guess protection sounds like where it's at. Oh, I don't actually have one. It's highlighted, but I don't actually have one. That just, that just never gets old. That will never, ever get old. Punching these guys in the face until they explode. I'm punching you. I'm punching you. I'm crushing your head, literally. Oh god, these guys jump fast. Yeah, I'm surprised, Jaime Joe, that, uh, what is it? I, I was gonna say, with the success of, uh, the new Wolfenstein, it was critically successful. I don't know if it sold a lot, though, because, uh, they were already putting it at a greatly reduced price over Black Friday. I don't know if that was just a Black Friday thing or if that was a releasing it right next to a Call of Duty game that was also based in World War II thing. It didn't quite underperform, but it wasn't the smash hit they wanted it to be. Uh, hello, Yeti. Recommendations for surreal, smoky, or scratchy artists. Uh, Ken Lashley, some of the stuff he draws is smoky, scratchy in a cool way. I mean, Jock, obviously. I, I, I feel like Indie would be able to have your back much better. I don't know if there's any, like, superhero comics right now that fill that void. Oh, look at you. Oh, come to daddy, you beautiful bastard. Oh yes, now it's a party. Ah, <laughs> uh, time to get in touch with the Sawyer family. Yes, please. I will put you away for now because I know you got fuel. All right, I I know what you want and I want it too. Oh, I'm sorry, did you need any of that? Oh, I'm coming for them guts. Oh, I'm coming for it. <laughs> oh, getting stuck on them. That was fun, but fleeting. Honestly, could you imagine actually fight- Yeah, Groovy, see, Yeti knows what's up. I could only imagine fighting with a chainsaw in real life, you'd probably be just as likely to cut off your own leg as you were to actually cut off an opponent's leg. It's true. It's true, Jaime Joe. But it looks so sick. I mean, you can't hand me a chainsaw and not be like, oh, hey, don't use the chainsaw. Oh, and now we're back to the colored key stuff. So I need a red and I need a yellow key. And thus the mission begins. Oh, that almost hit me. I'll follow the green. Green tells me where to go. Mmm, demon vittles. Those are the best vittles. Yeti knows what's up also. Oh yes, I will take that armor, please. I will take that and I will... I will... Eh, eh. What is... No? No? What is... What is Crouch in this game? Oh, the animation is very fun, KT. It's one of the best parts. How do I... Oh, yeah, this is so not Call of Duty. The sticks don't crouch you. What makes me... No, that's chainsaw. That's... Oh. Circle is crouch. 
Circle is crouch and you stay circled until you hit it again. Okay. No, it was an analog stick, Jaime Joe. You'd think it's analog stick, but it was actually circle. Oh, that almost killed me. I almost got run over by a train. Oh, that's the most brutal one yet. It's like a flying curb stomp. Mm. Oh, God, you can hear their spines breaking. Thank God they're evil demons. Or else, you know, I might feel bad about it. Mm. Yellow security limits required. Needs me a yellow key card. Now, if I were a yellow key card, where would I be? Oh, look, another demon butthole that I need to close. Too much demonic energy in here. Quick, punch it, it's demon heart. <laughs> I like in other games, it's like, oh, if, if I kill the Hellmouth, does it kill all the demons in the area? Nope, not even close. Not even kinda. Oh, that was a good shot. Oh, n n now they're doing the guitars. Now the guitars are hyping up. It's so fucking extreme. Helps to the demons let you know exactly where they're going to be by doing the whole red explodey thing. Yeah, there's a lot of the jobber enemies and then there's the actual serious ones. Oh god, they just fly everywhere. Body parts strewn everywhere. <laughs> Nasty. Thank god there's all these goodies to pick up. Mm. Uh, normal, Jaime Joe. Normal difficulty. But I'm getting really lucky also. I say normal difficulty, but they had a bunch of fun titles like Hurt Me Plenty or You Will Not Survive. I always like it when games go that extra mile and give you funny names for everything. Oh, I'm sorry, did you want to shoot that at me? Well, you're denied. God, these guys are fast. Yeah, sometimes the handling I feel like they meant for me to play this with a mouse and keyboard. Because, I mean, really, isn't that how it was played back in the day? That's how much of an old-school shooter it is. It feels like I should be playing with a mouse and keyboard. Oh, he didn't like that. Look, look at the floor. Look, look how slicked with blood the floor is by the time you're all done. It's basically a BDSM get, yeah, hurt me more. Uh, alright, where the hell, where the hell was I even going? I came into this room, shit popped off. Okay, this way. It is the Christmas Critters Blood Orgy, Yeti. You, you are not wrong. That's basically this game. Oh, yes, I'm following this hologram guy. Yeah. yeah. Come on, open. I haven't killed anything for almost two seconds. If Doom Guy doesn't rip and tear all the time, he gets very angry. Well, I mean, I think he's always angry, but still. See, you know what these elevators need? These hellish elevators. They need, uh, they need some songs. They need some music. Check your corners, bra. Check them corners. Ooh, another upgrade thing. Yes, please. Ooh, I can get an explosive add-on for my shotgun. Yes, I would like that very much. Yeah, damn it, Hollow Tony, wait up. Oh, man, speaking of Hollow Tony, did you guys read uh, Not Brand Eck? Uh, which is like uh, one of those special one-shots they did, like, you know, uh, 
like Mockingbird and Darkhawk and Shang-Chi and everything. They did one that was called Not Brand Eck, which is them like doing a parody of uh, like old comedy comics Marvel used to do. And Nick Spencer writes a story, which is basically him making fun of and doing a bridge series version of uh, of Secret Empire. And he pokes a lot of fun at Hollow Tony in his years. That's pretty good. Oh, there's my key card. There's my yellow. Are you gonna come to life, buddy? We're lingering. Yeah, I knew it. Fuck you. Darkhawk is coming back, Jaime Joe. This week, in fact. This week's gonna be a light week. It's mostly, uh... Mostly annuals. Mostly annuals, but he's getting a special issue. Ooh, I gained another weapon upgrade point. Yes, please. I would like to upgrade my weapon Z. Make, uh, make him a shotgun more powerful. Oh. I guess everything to upgrade takes three. Nope, nope, that takes one. Yes, please, I will do that. Yeah. Ooh, down the hole. Hey, and I'm back to where I was. Awesome. Access granted. And now I can open up yellow doors. Welcome to the UAC's Mars installation. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Shut up, nerd. You're not a marine. You're not a super badass doom marine like I am. Up oh, some armor. Thank you. A health machine if I needed it. Oh, what do you got, champ? What do, what do you got there? Hello. What is yours is now mine. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Someone in the chat was asking who copped. Eh, paper-thin walls in the condo could be anybody. Cycling airlock. Oh, wait, you mean have I been breathing air this time? Have I been supposed to be breathing air? I mean, I'm pretty sure there's no air on Mars. I mean, there's an air in Mars Museum. Is the Doom guy just that badass he doesn't even need to breathe? Oh, nice. Hey, you know what would make this rifle really cool, and I'm sure it's probably an add-on later, the ability to stare down the sights, then I'm reminded, oh yeah, this is Doom, you never stare down the sights in Doom. Yeah, this is such an old-school first-person shooter, you can't even stare down the sights. Oh god, they're kicking in that rock music again. Are you getting hyped yet? If you're not super hyped, if you're not making the sign of the beast, then we're not doing our job right. Ooh, what's the big burny thing? Oh, I've been ripping terror mode. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, God. Hey, you. You with the shield. <clears throat> Does nothing for you. Hey, hey, you. Don't run from me. <laughs> I'll kill you all. Oh, this is amazing. This is, this is ever- Oh, I literally ripped his heart out, say what? <laughs> Everybody dies! Nobody lives, everybody dies! Oh, 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 you think you're slick as you can jump. That's fine. I, I love rip and tear is just a thing now within the lore of Doom. It's, it's not an offhand thing from the novel, or what was it, the novel or the comic? that had rip and tear in it. It was one of those things, but now it's just part of the lore. <laughs> Got the verticality and being able to run around and everything. I can't remember the last time a first-person shooter let me do this. As much as I do enjoy the Call of Duties, and I do, they do limit you a lot in your movement and what you can do, and I mean, come on. Turning that dude's head into jelly, who who doesn't love it? Mmm, so good. Oh, and I still have a chainsaw on top of all that. You know, if that wasn't enough bloody murder, there's also a chainsaw. All right. Mm-hmm. 
uh, yeah, hi, me, Joe, whatever that game is going to be. I, I hate to admit it because I feel like this is a blemish on my gamer record. I still haven't beaten The Witcher 3 yet. I loved it. It was amazing. I played a lot of it, but I still haven't beat it yet. And they've come out with two, like, full games worth of DLC. And I still haven't beaten The Witcher 3 yet. All right, picking up my shit. Hey, m move it, stiff. Oh, that's lucky he died at his workstation. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. I was realigning this satellite just just to see how truly fucked we are in terms of demons here. Unlocking your access to the facility scanner. Uh -huh. Come to the Vega terminal, and I'll give you what you need. I know, right, Trappy? For real. I mean, it's great. It really is. There's a lot of games I haven't finished yet that I bought. Work got in the way, what can I say? The channel's been doing good now, mainly because I've cut down on a lot of my recreational gaming. Heck, I started streaming uh, the Game of Thrones game here, and I never beat that either. I mean, Witcher 3, too, is one of those games that almost, like, challenges you to finish it. Because, like, so much of it is just getting lost in great side content. Yeah, I'm noticing outside grenades aren't really worth shit, is what I'm noticing. Because everyone can seemingly just, uh, they're too fast. Yes, Trappy, the Game of Thrones, the game, the Game of Thrones, the Game of Thrones. I'm talking about the Telltale Game of Thrones. Oh, Persona, that's another one that's on my Amazon wish list for Christmas. I haven't played Persona yet. Persona also hasn't really gone down in price at all, which is pretty amazing. Like most other new games that came out around the same time have come down immensely in price, but not that one. I totally want to play Persona. But don't stream Persona, though, or you'll get in trouble. Because Atlas is being weird All about that. No, oh, I still don't have the red key card yet. Uh, where the hell am I supposed to go? I realigned the thing. Welcome to the USA's Mars. Uh, I've got a thing leading me outside. Get to the Vega Terminal. Okay, where where is the Vega Terminal? Am I going the right way? Yeah, you got that one right. Yeti, yeah, hello, Mr. Giggles. Welcome, welcome. Uh, do I gotta go back outside? Was- was I not done out here? Was that the problem? Was there a terminal I missed? I guess I wasn't done out here. Oh, okay, I moved the satellite, now I have to actually go to where the satellite is. Okay, that's fine. I- I'm a terrible repairman, I'm- I'm bad at this. And then probably on my way there, I will get the red keycard. Which I love that in 2017, I'm still talking about getting colored keycards. Uh, well, that one's telling me to go back inside. Oh, here we go. What was your plan there, guy, that you were going to ambush me at the front? What was w w what was your hope there? Did you not see me kill all your buddies? Oh, now we got a bit of a... Whatchamacallit? We got a bit of a platforming puzzle here now. Can I figure it out? Can I platform? Can I Can I jump good? Uh, I, I, I got in here, and now, now what do I do? Not for real, like, what do I do? Oh, follow, follow the green lights. When, when in doubt, in any game, follow the lights. That's the way the game designers meant for it. That's weird, though, that they just let me get into that little corner thing there, and then nothing happened. You bet it is, Yeti. You bet that's a Samurai Jack reference. I jump good, I jump real good. Uh. Uh. I think I'm going the right way.
Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah, man, now these jumping puzzles definitely make me feel like, uh... What is it like they want me to play this with a mouse and keyboard? Okay, see, now that guy had a much better strategy. I have decided I do not like the guys with the shields. I have decided they are not my favorite. Ah, uh, yeah. So satisfying. Yeah, I never got that either, bringing Sexy back, assuming that it ever left. That's just presumptuous of Justin Timberlake. Yeah. I love that they turn to big red bits of mist. Shadow War was good, Tevia. I, I enjoyed it. Had to, uh, what is it, move it to my cloud save to make room for this, which was surprisingly bigger than I thought it would be. I'll probably go back to it at some point. I know they're doing DLC and stuff. Plus the whole endless war final act thing. You know, it was good for a laugh. I will just throw that in. Did I feel, I feel like there's like a left I didn't take. No, that just leads me back out, I guess. I feel I feel like there was something I didn't take. I mean, to answer that question, Jaime Joe, Thor Ragnarok is a full movie. Justice League is like, to call it half a movie, isn't even a thing. I would say to rank in terms of all the DC cinematic movies we've seen so far, uh, better than Man of Steel, better than Batman v Superman, nowhere near as good as Wonder Woman. It's at least on par with Suicide Squad. If I was to rank it, that's how I'd rank it. Justice League is the Suicide Squad of movies. You can, you can put that one on the DVD. <laughs> Although I doubt they'll put that on. And Joel from Cape Joel says... Suicide Squ or Justice League is the Suicide Squad of movies. I know a lot of people are saying like, Oh, when are they going to do a... Uh, what is it? A director's cut? When are they going to do a complete cut and everything? And hello, who are you? Oh, got some goodies for me, do you? I'll take that. Aha, now I can actually upgrade my shit. Yes, yes please. Infinite Countdown, uh, it's a thing. It's a thing that they're doing. I will judge it when I see it. I mean, they were bound to do some sort of Infinity tinged event in the next little bit. What with Infinity War coming out. Love those Vanity Fair covers, by the way, of all the different team members together. Yeah, they were bound to do something with uh, Infinity War coming out. And I mean, I guess making a comic event makes sense. It's not just like it's coming out of nowhere either. They're clearly tying this into what happened in uh, Marvel Legacy. So that's something to look forward to at least. Although I feel they picked some strange books to choose to... Uh, what is it? Plant the seeds for it? Uh, Captain Marvel, Guardians of the Galaxy, which everyone keeps telling me I need to read now because there's a lot of really important stuff happening in that book. And I guess whatever Logan is going to show up in again, assumedly X-Men, I can only imagine. Well, yeah, that was the point of Sakaar Yeti. It was supposed to be busy and over the top. It was supposed to be a candy-coated hellscape or like a gladiatorial Brazil. If it was a dark, gritty, dystopian uh, hellscape, we've seen that a million times. It will give you strength, help you on uh, your journey, if you can withstand the power surge. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure with a guy with a voice you're evil tells me to pick up a crazy orb that looks like the Eye of Sauron. I feel like maybe I should just walk... Oh, no, can't walk away and do it, huh? Okay, then, I'll pick up the evil testicle, then. I'll pick up the Ball of Darkness. 
I'm sure this won't have any adverse effects on me. Oh, warning, energy too high. Re oh, cool, I can actually have more armor, more ammo, more health. Oh, this is a tough one. Uh, I mean, eh, armor, I guess. That is pure Argent energy you've just taken into your system. Right. It seems to agree with you. I will unlock the remaining oh. Argent cells within the facility That's you. you. Vega, give him what he wants. Is Samuel a robot? 61,337 UAC members deceased. 81% of the facility is on lockdown. So everybody's dead. The Mars installation is critical. According to the records, Dr. Hayden, the invasion originated in the Lazarus facility. It seems that a hell What were you doing in the Lazarus facility? Were you trying to bring people back to life, like the biblical Lazarus? You see roaming throughout the facility. The rest were killed by the demons released from their holding cells by Olivia Pierce. Aha. Uh -huh. Why did you have demons in your holding I cell? What were you up to here? It's nice to see these guys ascribe Some to the Umbrella Corps rule of evil uh, corporations. Was the cause of all this. And I leave. Well, thanks see for coming you. out, Yeti. We'll have to deal with her in time. You may not agree with our research, but no. I don't agree. We exploited hell and its resources because it was in mankind's best. Oh, this is one of those so energy crisis things. They literally tapped hell for power. The cost of progress. I mean, I love my iPad and everything, but if I got to power that off hell energy, I would consider perhaps not. Have been destroyed, and the core temperatures are now destabilizing. They've overrun the adjacent facility. If the venting turbines aren't re-engaged, uh -huh. neither of us will survive the meltdown. So this is all my fault. All my problem now. Can I can I leave now? Can I leave? Hey, completed. Da -da 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 -da. All right, now I gotta stop a meltdown. Honestly, I think right around here, because we've been playing for just about an hour and I still gotta edit Teen Titans for tomorrow. Let's let's call it a night now, but I'll stick around and continue to do a uh, Q&A for uh, the 12 people who are still hanging out. But uh, if you're watching this on YouTube over on the Day, uh, Joel Daily channel where all of these are archived, I'll call this right here for you guys. And if you uh, wanna watch the whole stream, uh, be sure to keep glued to my Twitter and Facebook page because that's where I'll be keeping people up to date on what happens next. And if you like the show and want to support it, I have all sorts of means that you can down in the description. Either buy something for yourself off my Amazon gear, buy something for yourself off my book depository. I get a small percentage on those. I have a PayPal link where you can just tip me directly. Then, of course, there's bits and cheers and everything else. I, I have to go through the rigmarole. I feel like I should just record this and play it. But yes, uh, for everyone else on Twitch, I will be doing Q&A. But for uh, YouTube, I will be ending the stream right here. All right, so that's where I ended it for the YouTube people.